When I was eight years old, I had my first paranormal experience, one I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt was real because my own mom witnessed it with me. This is that story. Saturdays for me growing up was all about helping with chores and one of those was laundry. You have to understand that although I was born in the late 60s and grew up in the 70s and 80s, we had one of those old-fashioned ringer washers, the kind you had to fill with a hose and have a separate tub for rinsing. It was hard work and a pain in the butt. You could, you just couldn't throw a load in and forget about it. You basically had to do it all by hand, so it took a while. This particular Saturday, my dad and brother left to go to an auction, so just me and my mom were home. We go to the basement and start the laundry. We get into the first load, washing whites. My mother had an order to these types of things. So we were washing and wringing. I'm catching the clothes when they come out the other side of the wringer and placing them in the rinse tub. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, we hear the door to the basement open, then shut, and footsteps coming down. My mom says, go see if your dad and brother are home already. So I did. There was no one. No one in the house. I went to the window and saw no cars out by the barn. I go back to report this to my mother. She gave me a strange look when I told her, and I gave her a strange look back. We continue on with the laundry. Maybe another 15 to 20 minutes pass. Again, basement door opens, closes, footsteps. This time, we walk over to the doorway and watch. We see absolutely nothing where these feet making the sounds on the stairs should have been. I mean, we hear someone walking basically in front of us can't see the person basically walking in front of us. So my mom says, let's get in the other room. And we did. At this point, we were kind of back behind the furnace, looking through the space between the wall and the furnace to see what this thing was going to do. The footsteps never came into where we were. In fact, they seemed to stop once they reached the bottom of the stairs. Eventually, we went back to doing laundry. We talked a few times about what had happened between the two of us anyways. I don't know if she ever told my dad what happened or not. I never asked. I do know I didn't like that basement after that, or any basement really. They all creeped me out. Even though that was 42 years ago, I remember like it happened this morning. That single event has led to many a paranormal experiences in my life that I now get to share with you.